and welcome to City Skylines 2. I am so excited for this game. The ultimate city builder is back for a sequel. Thank you to Paradox for the review code, the early access. The game is not out, I believe, until the 24th of October. They've already announced the console version has been delayed. They've already announced there's performance issues with the game, so we're going to keep an eye on that. Um, if you're expecting the most perfect city to be built, this might not be the video for you, but uh, this could be a learning process. I want to eventually build the best city I can, um, but that'll be obviously further down the line. Also, I want you guys to get involved. I want you guys to name the roads for me. It could be after yourself or after a favorite character or a favorite team. Whatever you guys want me to do, let me know. Uh, you guys can name all of my roads that you're going to see in the city so yeah it's pretty exciting so let's begin a brand new game um what do i want to do as like a sort of base um twin mountains look pretty good got san fran as well oh i don't know san fran could be pretty fun yeah let's go for san fran i'm up for that let's select the map let's do this Name the city. You'll be called Game Riot City. How original. North America. You can set the theme. Um, I'm going to stick with North, North America. Um, natural disasters are going to be in the game. Uh, we are going to... Let's restart this tutorial. We're going to start from the very beginning. We don't have all unlocks. We don't have unlimited money. Um, we're, gonna, we're starting a city. We're going to build a city from scratch. That's exactly what we're going to do. Man, I am so nervous. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Right, so we're going to skip past the sort of very sort of early base tutorial stuff. Uh, we're going to work on, hopefully, just building the premise of a of a, of a promising city. Um, hopefully, no issues. A lot of stuff is still locked, like the large roads, the highways, stuff that I really, really want, honestly. Um, but hopefully, we can sort that out eventually um as you can see there there is a water pipe um i believe uh, an electric pipe and a sewage pipe a water pipe basically um so this this th this road will pretty much work perfectly um does only carry 14 megawatts of power so that's definitely an issue as well uh, l maybe later on once the city gets a bit bigger but for now that's all we've got so there's not really much we can do it's got a, a nice central road here there's no one-way streets right now. Again, that will come later on. So bear with me. Uh, let's start focusing on electricity. So I'm going to go for wind turbines for now. At least for the start, at least. Um, so depending on where you put these, each turbine is 5 megawatts. You see down here at the bottom of the hill, drops to about 3.9. It isn't too bad, honestly. What else do we want? Uh, is three going to be enough for now? I can always add more later on. And what we're going to do is connect these with electric cables. If it lets me. What I'm going to do is do it underground. Because there's no point. You don't want to see them, do you? You'll just get in the way. So, put them underground. Is that connected? It's connected. Sweet. Connected again. And what we're going to do is connect it to the load. Make sure it's 100% connected. There we go. So that will now provide power along this stream. So there's a house connected, a commercial building, an office, industry. They all get wonderful, wonderful power. Mm. Uh, I guess we should now work on the water. Oh, so you can do dual pipes. Interesting. I didn't know that. So we're going to go for... So you can go for groundwater. So if there is water. There's water here, water there. Water here, actually, which is interesting. I might go for a water pump. Will it work there? Yeah, it does require a road, but that is completely fine. Let's, do, let's go and run the edge. Perfect. Let's get a nice sort of base road put in there. Sand that. No, it's fine. There's no limits to the water and sewage. It's, it's all good. Connect. Does it work now? Does it now have power? 
There we go. It's now got power. Not quite what I planned, but again, it's all a learning process, I guess. Just a, it's a two-lane road, but obviously you can just turn around and go back. It's all good. Uh, let's pause it. We need to worry about sewage. Yes, you need you, water's great, but you need somewhere to put your poo. <laughs> to put it bluntly, uh, where do I want to put this? Ideally, sort of out the way. Uh, yeah, like here-ish would do. And obviously, we need zip pipes, sewage pipes. So obviously, this is already underground. Is it connected? That is connected. So let's get connected to the main road. We now have sewage. You've got water, sewage, and electricity. The base of what you need. The basics, at least. Uh, let's start putting down some residential. So this is what I'd describe as a single semi-detached house. Eventually, you can go up to flat blocks, taller buildings, large apartments, but that's for later down the line. Um, so let's go for, that's all we can go for right now. See, these will unlock later on. Right, so is that enough space there? So that is perfect in terms of zoning, as far as I can tell. So if they want to see go down this road, they're going to have to go one way. Um, which may work. I don't, I don't know yet. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. But let's put our first set of residential in here. Right, so let's unpause it and let's see the beautiful first residence appearing out of nowhere. Beautiful. So what should we call this very first street that we've got? Let's call it, let's call it right street. But I want you guys to get involved. I want you guys to name a street. Could be after a character. Could be after a game. Could be after yourself. Or just a really cool name for a street. I don't know. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Oh, that'd be hilarious. Let's call this Water Street. Original. Because it carries the water. See? So yeah, our first set of residential is appearing. It's exciting times. It's 23 degrees. We're almost about to level up as well. Which is quite exciting. Excited for that. Come on. Fast forward it a little bit. Let's, you see the demand here for industry starting to appear. Might have industry near the wind turbines, potentially. Haven't quite worked out yet. So we obviously connect these two across here. I think that's just enough space. You can use the circle as like a... Oh, done that, almost done that wrong. Is that enough space? Oop. There we go. Why is that not straight? Why is that, why is that gone wonky for? I've got no idea why it's decided to go yet. Yeah. I'm going to go wonky on this one. That's annoying. Oh, again. Oh, the first houses are appearing. Nice. Hello, everybody. Got some pretty nice houses. Just saying. The power keeps going out. We could really do with some water. What? You have water. Stop being so fussy. You're being very fussy. I'm pretty sure there is water. Unless I'm, unless I'm going crazy. Yeah, I think because it's slightly sloped, it's not quite staying straight. There we go. That works. Again, these are all one-way streets. This person's complaining about a high rent. So I'm guessing the houses are a bit too pricey for what they are. There is a massive, massive demand for resident. Let's slow it down a little bit. Massive demand for commercial. Do I go for commercial in here? Maybe. So quite near the um, the houses, I guess. Let's go. Yeah, commercial here. Obviously, people want jobs, so obviously they can work in commercial. But industry is going to be the best way to get get them jobs. So what we're going to do is extend this road here. Come to an There you go. Lovely. You're going to have industry in the corner here. Man, these roads are not cheap. <laughs> these roads are not cheap. Do we want one way for this? I don't think we need to be too concerned about 
traffic in this area. Industry's not really a, an epicenter for traffic. Beautiful. Let's try and pollute this water. <laughs> I probably should be using right now. Our first bit of industry is going up. How's commercial? Is commercial up yet? Not just yet. Fairly slow start, but you can see people are starting to come in. We've got a 13, 13 population. Um, I had like a quick practice and I got to about two and a half thousand. It's not, not, not loads, but progressed quite well. And we should be leveling up fairly, very soon. Well, so again, there's a massive demand for residential. So you see, there's a lot of stuff to unlock, by the way. So we've got garbage management, healthcare, education, police, transportation, parks, even communication. So that is uh, mobile phones, the post office, stuff like that. So yeah, there's definitely um, there's a lot to worry about. There's a there was a fairly big demand for residential, but it's just disappeared. The city is starting to be born. <laughs> industry still growing over here. And there's not much of a demand for industry now, actually, which is interesting. Um, we've actually, have we lost a couple of people? <laughs> we have, some people got to know. I'm done. Uh, we're currently losing 1,300 per hour, which isn't, I don't, don't be too concerned about that. Um, you get money constantly like this, and we just leveled up. The first milestone is complete. We are now a very tiny village. I'm not actually sure what this currency does here, but this is a skill point. Um, we need to really be careful with... I wonder what that does. We can buy these, can we? Ah. Interesting. So we can basically expand. Oh, that's pretty decent, actually. That is very decent. So, what do we want to go for? Emergency backup stations. Could be interesting. A crematorium. That's a good one to go for. I think the people will like that. <laughs> a little bit depressing. Where would that go? Where would be a good place for that? Do you want to be too close to that? Not really. I don't know. It's a little depressing. Uh, we do have a medical clinic. So that's definitely something people would be, I think, interested in. For sure. Um... Put it next to these houses. Yeah. There we go. Oh. Whoops. Oh, that's fine. That's just a car park. Uh, yeah. We now have a little medical center. Lovely. Garbage. Definitely to sort out the garbage. We do need a road. We're just going to stick it in the corner. The wing goes this way as well normally. So. Yeah, that works. Garbage. Oh, one sec, do they need more road there? I think they might. No car access. That's not good, is it? Uh, oh, we've got some big roads now. Oh, this is interesting, actually. Do I want to change up my layout already? Oh, oh, decisions, decisions. Some big decisions. Right, so that's operational. So it's going to get very busy here. This is going to be like an epicenter for traffic um, eventually. So I'm wondering if I want to go for almost like a sort of mini highway system. Five lanes, Jesus. How big is that? So if I have it coming off here, I'm going all the way. No, how do I want to do this? I think that's as bad as good as I'm going to get it at the moment. Um, it's not perfect, but so we've got one street going up and one street going down. A five lane road. Which should be interesting to see how this works. I spent quite a bit of time and money on that, so I hope it works. The power keeps going out. Ooh, that's not good. What we can do, we can upgrade these. So maybe add some solar panels as well. Yeah. Just to sort of improve the uh, output a little bit. Battery would also be pretty useful. Right, so there is a slight demand for medium 
Dentacy. Dentacy. Why can't I say that word? So annoying. Um, yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's what I'm looking at. So that could slot in here quite nicely. Yes. That would be perfect. And we need a bit more commercial as well. So we can look at maybe, 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 maybe coming off this road. Is five lanes a bit much? Four lanes? With a divide in the middle. That actually looks quite good. Might be a little bit excessive, but. And have some. Do you want one way? Maybe three lane? Hmm. It's difficult to work out exactly what I want to go for at the moment. I'm very indecisive. Very indecisive. I'm sure, there's enough room. And start adding some more commercial. I do love me commercial. This game was addictive. I can imagine it being addictive, though. Well, I know it's going to be addictive. I'm already addicted. I am. I definitely am. Um, that should be plenty of commercial going down. Lovely. Yeah, see, there's a slight issue with performance. I can imagine when the city starts to get really, really busy, it's, it's going to get a little bit intense. Get a free drink today, a new bar. Right, so see, we, wow. Look at that. That is a definitely visually very, very different. So obviously there's going to be a lot more people in these houses. So there's six in this house. Oh, it's not that crazy, actually. Six in that one. How many in this one? Five. Okay, there's not a massive difference. But I guess the buildings are taller and skinnier, so you can fit more houses in a zone. And there's a, there's a demand for it. We've gone over the 100 mark now as well. And we're going up, apparently, 124 per hour, which is incredible. But there's still a massive demand for more residential, so... You know what that means, don't you? We need some more. We definitely need some more. Uh, so one-way roads. Uh, let's put it here. Keep going all the way down, actually. Perfect. And then have that connect to there. The snapping seems a lot better in this game than the first one, which is definitely good news. Let's do some low dents for now. If I put some medium dents here. Oh, that went well. <laughs> Diabolical. It's definitely one of those games where you're going to constantly learn from watching people's videos, playing the game for yourself. There's, it's, it's a massive learning process, um, which honestly gets me quite excited. So death care is pretty important. We've got a cemetery and we've got a crematorium. Which one do we want to go for? Maybe a cemetery? Yeah, let's go for a cemetery. Wow. I was tempted to go for a cemetery, but this thing is massive. Uh, this is a bit, oh, it's a lot. look how small that is. Maybe a crematorium then. <laughs> That's always a bit depressing, but yeah. Crematorium it is. They seem to like it. The, the people working at the sewage were like, no, I'm not a fan of this. So it's starting to disperse a bit of pollution. So we're going to try and help it out a little bit. So an extra settling tank. Increase the water flow to reduce the amount of sewage being expelled into the oceans. Lovely. So let's put that there. And all the, see, all the sort of services are going to dramatically increase the monthly wage, the monthly amount that we're paying off, basically. Uh, we should be okay, though. Let's get some more residential down, please. It's starting to look a lot busier, though, isn't it? It really is. I love the fact you can just select an individual. Mm. Diane Parker. So she's a part of the, Bar the Parker family. She lives on 17 Cozy Street. Uh, yeah, she's wealthy apparently. Good for her. Yeah. Got bikes there. We do need car parks, but that will come uh, 
later on. There's car these are parked cars by the way. That parking, did you see that parking? Wow. Population has increased. We're now 170, 175. There's a slight demand for industry right now. Is the industry industry still being built, so we'll we'll ignore that for now. Yay! Here we go. We're in our small little village. Gillian, 700,000 as well. Thank you, game. Thank you very much. We've got a slight... Oh, commercial just pl plummeted there, didn't it? What was that about? Did you see that? There's like a random need for commercial. It just, it just went. Right, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, low-dense buildings. Housing, even. There we go. Lovely. One second. These people not go anywhere. Uh, that might be the wrong street for that. Just do a normal street if that's possible. There we go. Take a turn around. Perfect. Man, look, yeah, look how dark it gets. It's absolutely pitch black. <laughs> Very much pitch black. Uh, so go for a hospital. Which is pretty tempting. Um, or we can go... For, it sounds a bit boring, but parking areas are so good. Like, you, honestly, you need them. Let's put one... Ooh, I got, just maybe that's a small one for now. In, like, the shopping district. Can I fit a medium one there? I can. Yay! So when they do the shopping, they can park there, run around, do all their shoppings that they need to do. Oh, education. So we've got a high school. High school and... So elementary school and a high school available. Elementary school it is. And it's cheaper. So where do I want this to go? Hmm. Maybe next to the crematorium. <laughs> Probably not the best idea in the world. Uh, let's go there. Do it. Elementary school, would you look at that? Obviously, we could do upgrades. So, for example, the playground could be in the back, which is quite tempting. You can obviously expand it. It's obviously, it's, if it starts to struggle a little bit, an attached clean that helps children recover from injuries. That's interesting. Hmm. Let's just put some commercial along here. This man will get deleted at some point, but it will do for now. I do love how you can set up the theme as well. That's, that's, that's really cool. Very cool. What are you still moaning about? What's, what's wrong with your rent? What do you want from me? These moany people, honestly. All you do is moan. Just get on with it. Keep this going straight. Um... Do I want this to be one way again? Maybe I'm using one way streets a bit too much. I don't know. For a residential area, is it really going to be that essential? Yeah, obviously, let me know in the comments what you guys want me to do in terms of uh, naming a street, anything like that. Please let me know. The power does not keep going out. I I'm sorry, it doesn't. As far as I know. <laughs> is it good? It seems like it's fine. Consumption... About 3.5 megawatts. We're producing about 15. Um, it looks fine. As far as I can tell. Good traffic flow. Not 100%, uh, but it's it's okay. Plenty of water. Uh, garbage. How are we doing on that front? Efficiency 109%. Air pollution, medium. I guess we can change that. If we want to do some like recycling and stuff like that. But I just be careful with the money at the moment. Money's not coming in. <laughs> Money's not coming in very quickly right now. Plenty of free time. Hashtag happy life. Well, good for you. Uh, anyone who's in the car park yet? Uh, no. Great. <laughs> Fantastic. There's quite a few cars around here. What I might do is do a bit of a test. So parking, maybe like a, a just a pool, a small parking space. Um, I wish I'd pull it like 
here. Does it fit? Doesn't fit there. Doesn't fit there. There you go. A small parking space. Let's see if that works. Speed up a little bit. So if we can try and get to level three before we end this video. The book has been fairly successful so far. I'm fairly happy. Yeah, there is a constant demand for more and more commercial. I'm actually tempted to do a commercial district sort of over here near the housing. What's that red bit? Oh. Suitability is not great here, apparently. Um, well, we'll do it anyway. <laughs> Screw you, game. I will not listen. I will not listen. And then some more high dense buildings over here. Oop. Not sure that's actually enough space, but. Oh well. Is it starting to get a little bit busy around here? Now that's more just parked cars. Are the parking spaces working yet? So we put one here, didn't we? Nope. No one there at all. And we have two people. In this one, the car parking is not working very well right now. Um, there's, car, there's parked cars everywhere. Maybe that's more of like a... I don't know how the parking works, honestly. We're, we're learning as we go. Um, got bikes there. Is that a kid? What time is it? It's 1am. Moving in. Okay, I'll let you off. 155 Riot Street. Oh, well, congrats to you. People moving in little smart cars. Oh, doggy! Oh. Little doggy. Does it have a name? Berry. <laughs> Berry the German Shepherd. Okay. Yeah, these are... Wow. These high-dense buildings are mad. I mean, 36 households. Maybe it only fits two people per household, though. I don't know. You see the amount, the amount of dogs as well, which is pretty interesting. Yeah. Oh, man, look at that industry demand. Is that going to go down, or should I start putting some more down? I might put some more down. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, I would... I say this with a lot of the games, because I play generally games that I, I'm, I'm really excited for. I would love love to do more on this game. I would love to. I'm not sure how it's going to do, honestly, on YouTube. I have, I have no idea. I'm just taking it um, one part at a time. Maybe just a one-off first episode. I don't know. It's it's, it's an interesting game for sure. Um, but I'm not sure it's necessarily going to be like a big YouTube game. I've got, I've got no idea. Is that all the, all the rubbish? Ew! I thought it was a piece of art. How wrong I was. Uh, generally though, people seem pretty happy. High noise pollution is an issue, but wealth is good, spacious homes, good education, um, abundance of leisure time. So they've got free time available. So I'm guessing potentially your citizens can be just generally too busy, which is quite interesting. Not quite sure how that works. We have one car. There's definitely more than one car in there. I guess they're leaving, actually. There's also little charging docks as well. Right, how can we get this level to go up? I need, I need quite a bit of XP, don't I? Look at that commercial. That commercial demand. What is going on? So yeah, employees, literally 17 out of 17. They're happy. Um, what's the first building that might sort of level up? One, one, two. That's a that's a level two apparently. They're pretty happy. So that's this whole house here has two people. It's not effective, is it, in terms of getting the population up? It's just it's not effective. And you've got this building with forty two people in it. No, sorry, forty seven. And they're wealthy, apparently. They're, 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 they're more than happy. They are buzzing, actually. 
Alright, let's go for a, another two lane road. Might end up regretting these two lane roads, but I oh, will. I'm gonna go for a bit more commercial. Give me that commercial. This is gonna be a very addictive game, I reckon. <laughs> I'm screwed. So I've had to move that house, it's fine though. And then another high dense building here. Actually, a bunch of high dense buildings. At least they've got far to go if they wanna go and just do some general shopping. Now that's always a positive. This might be a mistake because my schools are not, oh man, I really wanna add a, a higher school. But it's so expensive to run, 300,000. Would this put us into trouble? Population's growing. Um, not sure what to do here. I guess I can always close it. I can always delete it as well. I think we should go for it. A elementary school and a high school, I think it's essential, right? Like you, you just you just need it. So it's gonna go bang right here. Yay! And we leveled up as well. Get in. Eight hundred thousand. We got three uh, skill points. Got some permit points as well. Get in. Get in. Um, I don't know what to go for next though. So we're now a large village. Beautiful. So yeah, um, underground parking, that's interesting. That is very interesting. Could wait for that. Highways, intersections, a grand bridge. Oh, oh. Oh boy, hospital, university, college. What do we go for next? Fire station, don't they, don't they even have a fire station yet? I should probably go for that first. <laughs> That'd be a good idea. Police HQ. Oh, do we have police now? We do. Police are now in the game. The service amount per month is gonna go up rapidly. That is terrifying. That is terrifying. I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Transportation's coming up soon as well. There's a demand going up, but we should be building still. Look at that. Get in. <laughs> Starting to get a little bit busy here. I wasn't going to do this at first, connect with the main road, but I think it's okay. Having a few like traffic lights and stops, I think that's okay. And the demand is still going up though. We're going up, we're going up about 160 per hour now. Which is pretty good. No massive disasters. Yeah, I feel like we need to start looking at the fire service, the police station. But that will be for the next episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Really enjoyed just playing this game, looking at all the buildings going up. And I mean, the amount of progress we've made in one episode has been absolutely mad. Got all the industry at the back there, the wind turbines spinning away, high dense. What was this? Waiting for a hearse. Ooh. Uh, give me a second. We could do maybe another hearse. Yeah. More space for a hearse. Let's do that. It takes up a lot of space, but... Oh, that water's so annoying. Yeah. A little bit annoying. That's obviously a, a space we could use, but... So be it. Yeah. Maybe that was a waste. Maybe that was a waste of an upgrade. Whoopsie doodles. What I'm gonna do before we leave is just add a bit more commercial. I think this here's quite a good spot actually. Yeah, a bit more commercial. All ready to go. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. This has been a mad one. Again, please leave your comments below. What should we name? Um some of the streets. I will definitely put those re in ready for the next episode as well, so look out for that. And I will see you guys very soon. These car parks have been an absolute disaster. <laughs> They've been so bad. One sec, before we go, where, where's the other car park? Where is it? I've lost it already. Um, I left it here, didn't I? Literally zero. 
Unbelievable. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.